leave them dogs alone, too. No, that's a bad dog. Good morning, everybody. Hello, world. Hello, everybody. Auto loading up. Now you can get down. <laughs> so, I got another load of wood. I have to load it in this here milk crate. Like five or six pieces at a time. And the reason I'm making this video is I'm taking a break. Because I had it filled right chuck to the end here. Right? And I carried a couple of layers there already. <sighs> Come on, you stay close. Don't torment them dogs. Carried them all the way here. <laughs> to here. Now I got a couple other videos I'm going to go ahead and upload. They're really long. That's why some of these videos I make running into 20 25 minutes you know that's a half hour sitcom you know and that's a lot of time for someone to sit and watch videos but i got my wood and i'm saying this in the other two videos and i'm not going to waste them because there's points in them like i made two videos you know like take one take two one says one thing one says another that i wanted to say because you know i'm kind of scatterbrained as a matter of fact i'm really scatterbrained and, uh, you know, that's me, you know, if you don't dig it, well, laugh then. <laughs> you know, you can point your finger and laugh at me, I don't care. As long as we're all having fun. But that's what I'm doing this morning. And I was in there thinking, boy, because I loaded, see that half a row right there? That's what I loaded today. The other full row and some of the top of the back row... I loaded a few days ago, and I'm like, and I weathered it really good, you know, and then I go in there, and I pick up a salt shaker, and my back blows out, right? <laughs> so, you know, and, and I tell you, it's because I broke some ribs there way, way back, and they never really did heal. And once in a while, you know, especially if I'm out of shape, and, that, and that's what's going to happen now. You never mind those dogs. Mata. Look at her. She must cause trouble. Trouble dog, Mata Hari, come on. Off she goes. She goes sniffing something. Anyway, and uh, we're going to get back in shape. I marked a, a length of distance out there on the range road. And I'm going to go ahead and suit up and get my ruck on and this and that and, you know, walk it out. But that's what's going on. And I thought I'd take a break and do this. I got about a, at least that much row up. If you can see that. It's still in the truck. So, you know. <laughs> got to get it on. All right. Well, I'm really, you know. It does my heart good to see this pile of wood in my yard. Why, I don't know. I'm just that way. I'll explain a few things later when I sit down in the evening and, you know, have speaks. All right, live by your wits. And that's what I'm doing there, redneck. You don't know the wits I live by. You should come by sometime, spend 30, 60 days. 200 a month to experience my life. That's what I ought to do. <laughs> you want to experience poverty? Come out to the homestead. We'll dip you in duck shit and get you schooled up. All right, live by your wits, not by your worries. Hey, so, can I see it out there? Wait, peace. Bye. Oh, that's cool. Da, 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 da.